I want to see what you look like under the mask. Like, why are you hiding your face? So you're gonna show her what's underneath? I'm hiding my face for the same reason you're wearing makeup. Oh, no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. <laughs> that one there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have it. City boy! City boy! The other day, I had to make like a really big decision. Um, I was driving down the street and I saw two men getting out of a car with audio recording equipment and everything just stopped. And I said to myself, you can either put your foot on the gas and hit them or you can allow one more male led podcast into the world. And of course I didn't, I didn't hit them. I just, I went along with my day, but it keeps me up at night. You know what I mean? I could have done my part as a citizen of the community and prevented, prevented another another male podcast from going out into the world and I didn't and I need to apologize for it um it's really been eating at me it's just like the pure horror of seeing a man holding a microphone there's nothing like it there is absolutely nothing like it Ugh, it just it I'm like I have goosebumps you big man <laughs> these women and seems are really mad that we exposing them so they keep reporting us we really appreciate your support not only on this channel but any male centric channel likes subs share super chat any kind of support is really appreciated so that we can keep pushing this content let's get to it men especially white straight cis men are so mm -hmm. used to being unchecked in so many different areas of life. They never get checked for anything they say or do, and they're kind of operating on this, I'm gonna say whatever the fuck I want, and yeah. everyone around me has to deal with it. And then when you run across a bitch like me who does not do things that way, mm -hmm. they get very upset. Nope. They're like, oh, who the fuck is this? Yeah. Like, yeah, sure, you can say whatever the fuck you want, it's the internet, but in return, let's keep that same energy when I drag it to hell and back. Yeah. Bring it on. I'm by Olivia, um, I'm 20 and basically I've been doing OnlyFans since I turned 18. What? And I was in school while I was doing it and yeah, that's me. Cool. I, I think what we'll do is obviously go into how you girls got started, right? So I think, yeah. Bella, you said you started when you was 18. Yeah, so basically, I like in Ireland, we are in school like pretty like late. We finish at like 18 and 19 and I've been waiting for like years to start this ever since i heard it only fans i was like right that's what i'm gonna do so huh? basically the day i turned 18 i just signed up and i was still in school like some people were like you should have waited but i was not wasting any time so i just started straight away and i've just been going at it since then really she belongs to the streets delusional women finish first those are the ones we remember those are the kinds of women that leave an impact they leave you with a certain feeling they're magnetic you want their energy hey Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. So I'm at the Regina Airport right now. I'm um, flying to Vancouver this weekend. And these, these women, these women beside me, they've just met each other and they are having the most intense conversation. The one is telling the other that she is very attracted to her husband's brother, that he is the hottest man she's ever met. She is opening up her phone and showing this other woman who she just met pictures of her super hot. Um, what would he be to her? Like brother-in-law? <laughs> and then the other one is saying, well, why didn't you marry the brother? And she's saying stuff like, because he doesn't have the money. You gotta marry the money, and the other one's like agreeing, oh well yeah, because that makes sense. On behalf of my gender, I just apologize. Just generally apologize. <laughs> Women. So the other day I posted a video where I expressed my confusion on why guys don't seem to understand or grasp that a lot of women aren't tolerating BS anymore just to be in a relationship. Yeah. Meaning like she's either matching your energy, we're gonna be out here doing our thing. Or, honey, I'm not signing up for that. Or, you're not going to drag me along, sir. I, I peep game. Let me go ahead and move on. Bye, bitch. And what I've realized from the stitches and the duets and the comments, a big reason why a lot of guys are upset is because they're being rejected by women they consider to be average or below average. 
I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Meaning the type of woman that back in the day was told you should be lucky any man would want you. Now that same woman is like, hell no, I'd rather be alone, sir. My dog die alone. You ain't got to deal with nobody. And their brains cannot comprehend it. <laughs> you serious? That's why they lash out. They want to call a woman fat or ugly or say she's old or she's going to be a spinster or she's going to be a cat lady because to them, you should be lucky any man is talking to you. We do not care. And instead of like internalizing this and being like, damn, even she don't want me. And they have the right to think that. And, and fixing themselves? No. Something's wrong with you. You're not traditional. You have a bad attitude. You're going to be alone. Nope. Men are perfectly fine with rejection. You are the one who's mad because your pool of simps are getting smaller and smaller the more we talk the more we tell men to have standard because when you come back after you've been used up you've had a couple of babies now your simps that you have to run into are not taking you anymore because of the word we're spreading that's why you mad okay and when guys like to bring up Kevin Samuels stuff, and I like Kevin Samuels. Cap. Don't get me wrong. When he said, you're overweight, you got four kids, you know, your money isn't this, you look like this, you do all these kind of things, men are not going to want you. The part that they keep skipping over is he was saying rich men are not going to want you. Nope. So a lot of these guys applied those rules to themselves and they're not rich. They're not even in a lot of cases desirable. Nope. Men know exactly where we stand. We've been told no our whole life. We know. You don't, but we do. And they are like lashing out at women because they don't understand. That comment, sir, did not apply to you. These are the type of people that never watched Kevin's content. They watch clips and think that they understood his message. You are now in a position, whether you know it or not, you have to be wanted. We do not care. Women were forced to be wanted for many, many, many centuries. That is bullshit. You had to be a certain age. You had to have a certain weight. You had to look a certain way. You had to uh, treat your man a certain way. And now that that is being put on you because now we're getting up and going to work. We don't care. And now this urgency and this desire and this, you know, biological clock, a lot of us don't even hear anymore. Keep telling yourself that, darling. Sir, you're going to have to be wanted too. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Mm -hmm.